Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, X.E.L.O. So today, what I want to do is actually talk about a VST called Vault, and it is by the Crown Hill Company. It's really easy, simple to use, simple to set up, simple to actually adjust to. It comes with a couple of sounds already pre-made inside of it. And I just want to kind of show you guys exactly what it can do. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you the website, show you how it works. Let's go. All right, so here we are on the website. This is the Crown Hill Company, and it's called Vaults. This is the new drop. Is The Studio Drums is the newest one that they released. Basically, all you do is sign up and you sign in and then they'll actually send you a link to download these uh, instruments, right? So what's inside is you have uh, some a piano, some strings, Celestion, uh, Shimmer guitar. You have a chorus synth, studio drums, and something is coming soon, which will be number seven. So it looks like they keep adding on to these, this project for Volts, which is really cool. And I appreciate them for actually doing that. Uh, we all are always looking for new instruments, new ways to actually play things. But I think this one will help a couple people out, especially if you're using Reaper, because it doesn't come with any sounds, right? I'm gonna go through the settings on Reaper and show you guys exactly what it does. And it is compatible for Mac and Windows. Let's get into the DAW and see exactly what's going on with it. All right, so here we are in Reaper, and this theme is called Reaper Tips. This is the Reaper Tips theme that I'm using. Shout outs to Reaper Tips. And this is what the vault actually looks like. This real slim little piece, that's, that's all it is. Um, really, really cool. So you have your volume up here. If you hit on this little eye, it'll tell you what everything is. So this is the current module that you're actually on, you see here. You can change your modules or browse them here, or you can scroll through them using your arrows, right? So you have your macros for each one. Each one is different, has a different macro, right? And then you have your effects down here. And then if you hit on this, it'll switch the direction of the layout for your effects. So instead of it being from right to left, it'll be left to right. I think that's pretty cool as well, right? So all this is right here inside of this little compact VST. Um, really simple to set up, get everything installed and going. Um, and if you want to change, you hit on this. And as you can see, you have the piano, you have the strings, you have the celeste tone, the shimmer guitar, and the chorus synth. So let's start off with the grand. And I'm going to close this. And then you see the grand here. Yeah, so the grand is actually really nice. And you have an option to do a reverse. This top one is to reverse the piano. So. Right, so you have an option to do like a reverse on there, which is pretty cool. Right, and you can use your mouse wheel over the numbers here to actually bring it up or down. I think that's pretty cool as well. And you can offset your keys here. So if you want them to be a little off from what you're playing, and if you double click it, it should go back to its original settings for the piano, right? So you have this smash key here. This is like a compressor. And I believe this is air. Right. And you have your echo, which is basically like a kind of a delay and a splash. I'm still not hundred percent sure what splash is. It sounds more like a reverb. And you have all these included inside here and you can reverse the order if you wanted to and have it go the opposite way. Right. So I think that's really, really cool that they have that little setup on here and you can make some really nice things with this. All right, so let's move on to the next instrument, which is the strings. All 
And as you see, like these grayed out notes, meaning that they're not going to play, like the strings doesn't go that low. Right. Right. So you have, uh, this is the timber for it. And this is the, the glisten. I'm not sure what a glisten is. Ah. Like it adds a little a piece on there. That's pretty cool. So we have a sub. I'm not sure what a Paris is. And you have your echo and your splash here again. So let's move on to the next instrument. And it looks like the celestial tone. And you have a tremolo for it. And they have the uh, hammer for it and the swarm. I'm not sure what a swarm is. Ah. Ah. That's pretty nice. So it gives you like a like added added extra effect on there. I think that's pretty cool. And uh the tone, you can change the tone. And the hammer. How and that's how hard it hits. And then your echo and your splash there again. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is the guitar. All right. So let's add some shimmer to it. Has this filter on here? Let's take down the. All right, take down the shimmer. All right, you can put some drive on there. Some mod wheel. Right, so here is a chorus synth. That's actually a pretty nice uh, chorus on there. And you can do the tone as well. I think that's actually uh, some pretty nice uh, drums, actually. Let's see what Smash does. Shifter. That's pretty cool, too. All right. 
So I believe that is the last one on here. So yeah, so back to the grand piano. So this is a really cool, easy to use VST. Let's make a beat real quick, show you guys how to actually use it. Let's go. All right, so I'm using Ripcord. All right, so let's see if we can record something in. All right, just something real simple um, put in here. All right, so it looks like cleanup time. So let me try to clean these up real quick. Uh, I'm going to put them to quantize. All right, and I'm going to delete these bottom notes for the strings. And I'm going to raise these up. So this is what it sounds like now. sound I'm gonna duplicate this track so now all right so what I want to do with this I'm gonna drop it down right and what I'm gonna do is actually do an arp That's pretty far. Let's keep going on. <laughs> now what I can do for the guitar is actually see what I played, right? And it's kind of add little accents of guitars here. So I think that's a really pretty cool melody. Um, and we can actually add a little bit of uh, shimmer to this guitar, right? And a little bit of drive. And I want a little bit more reverb on it. Right, something really, uh, really nice and light. All right, so what I'll use the synth for is actually the bass. See if I can do a, get a bass out of this.
So now we kind of have our base there using some of the synth in there to get a nice little base on there as well. All right, so now we have the studio drums. All right, so let's lay down the drums on here. I kind of like this, this snare here. All right, so we added a little, a couple of little hi-hat rolls here, 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 and a couple right here at the end. And this is what it sounds like right now with the drums and everything included. So there you have it. This is Volts, uh, really cool little VST. I'm gonna have a link below in the description. You can actually go to the site, download it, and use it in your arsenal for Reaper as well. So with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I will still be going over some more free VSTs for you guys to actually use in Reapers while making some beats using them as well. All right, but with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. And once again, it's your boy, X dot, E dot, L dot, Oh, and thank you for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time, people. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.